All right, so for the last part of lesson seven, we're gonna go ahead and finish up by creating a project or creating a web page, okay? So um, the HTML that you sketched out in your project guide at the very beginning is what you're gonna start putting in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's put in an H1 and let's do fresh water dolphins, okay? And then do a paragraph here. Um, All right, so I've got my paragraph there. I've got a title. Maybe I want to do maybe I want to do a horizontal rule, and um, then we're just going to go like this. But let's say this one's going to be another heading, but a little bit smaller. Okay. So I've got my heading there, and then I'm going to do an ordered, and let's do an unordered list. Okay, so we're just creating the website that we had sketched earlier um, and putting the HTML in. And I'm going to hit, uh, throw some list items in here. And then I'm going to put one more in here. Let's see. All right, so I've got a pretty basic page. You guys can add whatever you had, had created earlier. Um, but let's go ahead and give this some style. So I've added the HTML, so I'm going to hit Finish. And then I need to style the page for this section here. So in order to do that, I'll go ahead and click on my style sheet and then I'll start creating some styles. So for my H1, okay, I wanted to have some rules here. Let's go with um, color and we're gonna find color here that looks good. Maybe deep sky blue, there we go. Um, kind of match the water theme here. And then we're going to go font dash family. Family. Okay. All right. And then um, let's do a font size. And we'll say, I don't know, 35 pixels. Okay. And then I wanted to also center this. So text dash align center. All right, so that looks good. Now, if I want to change my horizontal rule, I actually can. You don't have to, but I'm gonna go ahead and change this really quick. We're gonna go padding, 30 pixels. No, that's too big. <laughs> 20 pixels, maybe 10, 10 pixels, okay. Then we'll say background color. So remember, color is for text, background color is for the background. So maybe I'll use this aquamarine. All right, next I'm going to do some settings from H3 and we'll do the same, let's do the same color and font family as these. So I'm just going to copy these rules and paste them. Okay, and then we'll just, um, let's see here. Okay, and then I'm going to just go ahead and put a text size, sorry, font size, font dash size, and we'll do uh, 20 pixels. All right, so that's that for those. Let's go ahead and put some rules on my paragraph. So let's do, let's do this. Font family, and we'll do cursive, and we'll go font 
color or <laughs> let me just do color color dark blue and maybe I want to do a background background color and maybe I'll want to do cyan there we go all right, so I've changed that a little bit. I could do some stuff with my list if I wanted to. I could do, sorry, UL. It's an unordered list on this one. And I could change some things. I could say, like, background color. Here. Um, I could put a border if I want to. Border color let's do the aquamarine and let's go border width uh, thick let's try that and border style let's do uh, dashed. Okay, so we can kind of play around with different things and get our website um, how we want it to look. And that is about it for this one. So for just this last one here, you just want to make sure that you have everything how you want it. So um, and if you want to add any more things, you can either to the style or to the index.